Hey guys, so I'm here with the hubby. Hola. <laughs> and um, just wanted to talk about our day today, which was really good. Um, we went into Colonial Williamsburg today. Yep. <laughs> and which is not bad because it was about 80 degrees for a high today. Mhm. Mm so started out 71. Weather was beautiful. The sky was like amazingly blue, and it felt so nice, like Florida in the fall. <laughs> in the fall. More like winter. Oh yeah, winter. <laughs> um. And what was your favorite part of this morning? Uh, let me see. Kind of like the chocolate making and the, and the uh, let's see, the grand entrance into the palace hall. Yeah, that was really cool. I liked the ballroom and With the palace. All the, uh, all the muskets all and the muskets and the weapons and stuff. I knew you'd like that. As soon as I walked out there, I was like, oh, Joe's going to love this. He wants this. <laughs> Exactly. Like, it was literally from floor to ceiling of muskets and swords and daggers and pistols. Horse pistols. Horse pistols. It was really cool. Exactly. Uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> and so we did the palace tour today. Um, and it was really fun. It was very interesting. Um, and really cool. Yep. And we learned some dance moves while on that tour. <laughs> or a dance move from colonial times. And we exactly. Because learned... Virginia likes to dance. <laughs> and we learned how to bow and curtsy. Exactly. He was so funny. I will post that video. Oh, yes, I will. He has no say in the matter. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's my channel. <laughs> yeah, but I own the phone. So. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, <laughs> um, and then we came back here and Joe. Took a nap. Yeah, we took a nap. We got back here at like three something. Yeah, three o'clock in the afternoon. Two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon, and just hung out. Took a nap, and then my lovely husband. Husband, I was not feeling good this this afternoon. I was just like completely. I don't know what. I was just not feeling myself, and so my lovey hubby went to the grocery store and got some stuff. And Here's Teeter. And went to um, went and got stuff for dinner, and made some spaghetti, and it was yummy. He's yummy in the tummy. Exactly. <laughs> He's a good cook. He's a good man. And you, don't raise no food. <laughs> and we actually got, even though we don't live up here, it made more sense. We, uh, for only sixty dollars, you can get a pass, for a one year pass, for Colonial Williamsburg, and you get it. You get access to all the different houses and stuff. Which is and really cool. And twenty five percent discount on special events. Yeah, and no, we are not sponsored, but this is just our trip, so we're just giving you guys information. Um, and so it was really cool, and it's worth the money, you know. Um, Especially if you're gonna do more than one day. Yeah. Cause the uh, local trams are included in that in your in your ticket price. So, and make sure you ride the trams from spot to spot, because it will save you a lot of walking. Yeah, a lot of painful feet hurting right here. Mine. <laughs> I don't know, are your feet hurting, baby? No, it's because you took me through the maze. <laughs> yeah, I'll post that video, too, of us doing the maze uh, that was behind the palace. And um, then this evening, we did um, a tour called Ghosts Among Us, and it was really a lot of fun. Um, it was a ghost tour, um, and basically what they did, my arm's falling asleep, um, what they did is they had actors. You go into three different houses, and they had actors tell you a ghost story. 
Um, and it was really cool. It was really a lot of fun. Um, and, um, yeah, it was very interesting. Um, one tale was about, it was a, a mother, who was, the, what was her name? I don't remember the names. Oh. I know that, uh, her husband of 50 years died. No, he lived 50 years. It wasn't her husband of 50 years. Yeah, well, okay, whatever. But her husband, when he was 50 years old, died. And then her son died at 9 years old. And then she died in, in like, 1742 or something or other. Yeah. And then, uh... The school is named after her son because she opened the school for the children and the poor. And then apparently the, uh, guys that overtook the school uh, took all her money and squandered it so the College of William and Mary stepped in and took over the school. Mm-hmm. Which was cool. Which and the school is still here. Uh, they opened a new one I guess I think it is. Yeah. But it's still named after her son. It's called the Z- Zach- Zachary I thought it was called Matthew. Yes. Matthew something. Wilmington? I don't know if it's Wilmington. Weller. Matthew Weller. Matthew Weller, yeah. Elementary uh, school. Yes, and it's still an active school, which is really cool. So you can't go to her to school? No. <laughs> um, and then we heard another tale of two sisters. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember this. The story? story no, I can't remember their names. Oh. Um, um, was it Smith? No. It was some... I can't. Anyways, his names are not that important. No. Basically, the sister was... The younger sister was a slut. And was... Well, I don't know if she was that much of a slut or not, but, you know... Just... She was fornicating with her sister's husband! Or maybe the husband was fornicating with this. Same thing. They no, were both... Not. They were both wrong. Yeah, well, you know, hey. It was back in the 1700s, so... Huh. So, um... People took a bath once a month, so what do you expect? <laughs> um... But, so, it was really Which fun. was, the funny part of the story that she's not telling is that there was this one girl that was in the audience that got screamed at once before. Well, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Uh, and well, there were she two... Got, she got screamed at. <laughs> she got screamed at in this first story, in the second story that we saw. And then we went to the palace and we heard a third story about a vampire. And this poor girl who got scared, who got, her face got screamed in at the house about the sisters, pardon me, then at this other house at the palace got her face screamed at again. Which was hilarious. No, the hilarious part was my reaction. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, when it comes to vampires, I'm just thrown under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> it was a... It, it was... Basically, I remember this one because it... Um... It was... It was scary. It was intense. The last one was pretty intense. Um... Oh, whatever. It basically... Um... Oh, stop. It basically... Sorry for the hand you. Yeah. Um, was about this guy who... It was published in the Williamsburg, Virginia Gazette. This legend of this vampire that had died in England. And... Sorry, I'm moving around. Here, honey, you take this. My arm's getting tired. Now you're cutting me out. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> he sucks. 
Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> um, so, basically, I know you're covering the mic. You gotta hold it on this. Never mind, I'll hold it. I thought the mic was up there. I don't know. It's over here. It's on this side. So. There we go. <laughs> oh, the love of us. Anyway, um, the the tale was that this harlot woman, she, this woman ran basically a. She ran a tavern that was questionable service. Yes, that was. Tried for being a more than just a tavern for having concubines. <laughs> because one of the people she had service broke some other guy's nose, and the guy took her to court and become the loud and obsidious order or whatever, and said the other. Yeah, and so then um, she sold the girl to a man who wore gloves, this long black uh, jacket, coat, um, wool coat. Um, He wore a dark hat. um, And it was in like the middle of June, okay, in Virginia. And apparently it's very hot here in June. And so that night she hears A knock on her door. Mia Intor. She was counting her money and she was very tired and worn out. Just wanting to just be done. (laughs) (laughs) Mia Intor. Sure. Why not? Yes, you may enter. What are you, a vampire or something? Said the lady. A vampire. A vampire. I am a vampire. And basically, the guy was a vampire. Vampire, so to speak. Long story short, we're not going to go into the whole detail of the story. Um, well, no more? Got to go to the tour. Yes, there you go. But basically, the lady, the actress... <laughs> <laughs> she was closing out the story and she was sitting right beside me and she has a cup and she was drinking out of the cup and she was like what's sweeter than wine yeah well, it's all gone and like I threw him under the bus I said eat him and she goes shh <laughs> She told me to shush. Yeah, it was hilarious. <clears throat> I choked myself. Yep. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that one was. I highly recommend doing Ghosts Among Us if you ever come to Williamsburg, Virginia, and you can do the ghost tour, and do the Ghosts Among Us tour. It was really good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, and that was kind of our night. And then we came back here and I took a shower and he did work for paperwork. <laughs> but, so. Exactly. Yeah, so that was that. And then tomorrow, we are getting up bright and early. About 7 a.m. Going to go to breakfast. And then gonna head over to Arlington for the day and just kind of hang out over there. Not at Arlington all day, but we'll see what happens. And then we'll come back here and figure out what we're doing. But I will post some videos from today. I unfortunately could not record during the ghost tour. Yeah, they don't allow it. Yeah. And. Our camera, our actual video camera, he did buy a new battery for it, but the battery that they sent us was a dead. So we have our original battery, and so that thing doesn't hold a charge worth a dang. So we're stuck with a little 
I think the battery lasts maybe 10 minutes. We'll find out how long it lasts tomorrow. Yes. So, anyway, um, we will talk to you guys later. Lots of love. Lots of baby dust. Bye, guys. See ya.